Hi, my name is Dr. Steve Jankowski, and I am going to be uh, talking to you very briefly today about some research that I'm doing uh, part of the slow editing towards equity team. Uh, there's uh, four members in total, and today it's going to be talking about changing Wikipedia policy, skills, and roles in a multilingual environment. So sort of the, the, the problem that we're going to be approaching in this research is that the Wikimedia Foundation has identified that as much as Wikipedia's policies are very useful for creating really high quality content, uh, really, uh, for, and for allowing for the production of knowledge. Um, there are, because of the way they're structured, um, major barriers for diverse content inclusion. Um, Right. There's a lot of bias in the way that it um, uh, approaches uh, older rules. There's less revision, less updates to it than in the early days when they were first being made. Um, and uh, they sort of calcify, right? That the, it's uh, because they've been around for a long time, it's very hard to change. So if the goal is to increase knowledge equity by addressing some issues with policies, the important thing is we need to know, um, A, what we would like to, ch or what, not we, but what people would like to change, what Wikipedians want to change uh, in order to increase the equity, but also how, how to do it. So this research that I'm working on uh, with my team is really about how to think about making changes to Wikipedia policy. And of course, Wikipedians already know how to change policy. They've been doing it for 20 years, right? So um, the questions that we ask are which skills and social roles do Wikipedians use when they are making substantial changes to the authority of a rule? I'm going to talk about what that means in a minute. You might also think of it in terms of the status of a rule. Um, and then are these skills and social rules roles consistent across language edition, uh, versions? Or do they vary by context? So we're also very interested in not just in uh, Wikipedia's English policy environment, but its total policy environment and the interactions between these um, uh, different uh, policy contexts. Um, so we want to see if there's differences depending on which language you're working on, which skills and social roles uh, Wikipedians take up. So this background, uh, very briefly to describe it, we have a little bit of um, uh, sort of uh, some communication theory as well as uh, some media studies theory about the way that Wikipedians uh, engage in practices. And these practices are based in socio-technical skills, uh, ideas about social authority, um, the way that Wikipedia is organized semi-hierarchically, um, in terms of uh, technical roles as well as social roles, and then how do those roles and skills play into the production of consensus, um, and how do uh, policies end up representing this pol this consensus? What are the techniques that Wikipedians use to do it? So that's just very briefly. Don't have time to really go through it. Um, so as I sort of mentioned beforehand, uh, one of the things we're looking at is how do Wikipedians change policy, but not just in terms of um, content, but how do certain policies actually change in their authority across the site um, through the adding of different sort of templates saying, you know, this is a guideline, this is an essay, this is a proposal. And these are moments, we're like critical moments where the reception of the policy um, is institutionalized or is formalized. Um, there may be sort of a, a, a general sense that these are uh, guidelines already, but then how does it actually become in, in, ingrained in that way? So we're looking very specifically at these moments um, and how um, these moments um, come into being on the Arabic, Dutch, English, French, and Spanish policies. Um, of course, I mean, in the style that we're doing it, uh, we don't study every single policy. We have to do a bit of sampling. So we ended up with three policies per uh, uh, one of those languages. Um, and we tried to choose the most representative ones that would help us uh, answer these questions. Um, and so we are providing a content analysis uh, of the edits themselves um, to understand what are these skills and social rules came up with uh, 60 initial codes for the edit types. 
based on previous research or in literature on the matter, uh, what Wikipedians actually call these edits themselves, as well as emergent properties that we discovered in the process of coding them. Uh, we are currently at this moment where we've now coded these 15 policies with all these edit types, and we're starting to cluster together these edit types into types of skills. We're debating in the team about uh, the naming of this, uh, as well as how many of these um, skills there are. But sort of these are the lists that we're currently working with. And then the goal is ultimately to come up with a, a list of the social roles that um, these uh, skills um, are connected to. Um, so we have a list of ones that we have, you would expect already, they're Wikipedians, they're experts on Wikipedia, uh, they're content justifiers, copy editors, cleaners, that sort of thing, as well as a number of policy oriented roles that um, we haven't considered before. Um, so with those in mind, the goal then is to, uh, once we have these social roles, we will then do sort of like a, a some data visualization of the frequencies of roles and skills, and then we can compare the different policies and get a sense of um, the distribution of these roles and are they different between the different languages and what are they and what sort of lessons can we learn from that process. Um, so this research is actually an update from last year. Uh, where we were looking at what were the editorial and democratic techniques uh, that Wikipedians were using to change these moments of the policy. Um, that research is now uh, in review at a high impact journal. And so our next steps is just really to finalize um, the skills, refine the social role descriptions, and then do, as I said, to visualize these relationships um, and to think what kind of lessons can we learn from it. So that is the end of my chat. Um, thank you so much. And uh, I look forward to taking your questions.